Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today I'm sharing four easy crock pot meals with you guys. We are a family of five, this does feed us. Sometimes we have leftovers, sometimes we don't, but this is for a family of five. So you can always tweak these recipes if you need to, so keep that in mind. We are making fiesta chicken casserole, a nice hearty chili, a Mississippi pot roast, and golden chicken with noodle. So I will share these recipes with you guys, kind of show you those step-by-step -step instructions on how to get that done. So let's get cooking. So this first dinner here is going to be fiesta chicken casserole, I believe is what it's called. Also, I'm sick. I apologize about my voice. You will need chicken breast. I have, I think, three more to add to this, so I'm gonna have probably seven or eight chicken breasts total, but we are a family of five and we try to have leftovers, so that's kind of extra. This is three quarters of an onion already cut up. You will need the 10 ounce can of cream of chicken soup, a 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes, a 15 ounce can of Southwest uh, some type of Mexicorn, garlic powder, chili powder, and black pepper. So the actual measurements for the seasonings are quarter of pepper, quarter garlic powder, and a half of chili powder. I'm just gonna eyeball everything. This is the cream of chicken soup that I'm using. It was leftover. We had too much extra from a previous recipe, so this equals about one can, so I'm just gonna toss that in there instead. So my husband didn't know I was filming this and he already shredded up all this chicken. Um, it's been sitting in here for about seven, almost eight hours I think. It looks delicious and it smells amazing. Tasty. <clears throat> and then the original recipe calls for you to like make your own rice, uh, but we don't do that here. So <laughs> I'm just following the directions on the back and making two of these okay. bags of Spanish rice. Um, are we mixing the rice in here? Yes, after it's cooked you throw it in there. After this is done, we'll put it in here, mix it all together, add cheddar cheese and sour cream. You can throw jalapenos in there if you want, black olives, whatever. But once it's all put together in a bowl, I will show you. Need help? So here is our dinner in a bowl, just topped with some extra cheese and sour cream. It smells amazing. I'll let you know on the screen if it was good or not. It seems really good. Uh, we only have one more bowl to make and this thing is still packed with food so we are definitely going to have a lot of leftovers. So tonight's dinner is going to be a chili in the crock pot. So we need two pounds of ground beef, black pepper, garlic salt, chili powder, cumin, one whole onion, one bag of frozen corn. This is 12 ounces. And then we have two cans of light kidney beans and two dark kidney beans. Now the meat you're gonna make later, but let's go ahead and chop up the onion and get all of this in the crock pot. So apparently I was misinformed. We have to make the ground beef first and drain any fat. Then we can put it in the crock pot and add everything else.
While the meat is browning, I'm gonna go ahead and start to rinse and drain all the beans and put them in here so it's ready. So now I'm gonna sprinkle these on top of the beans. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in the corn. And then after the meat is done, we'll add that in. And we need to add the onion. And then we'll give it a good old mix. Okay everybody, in the process of all this, we forgot to add the tomato sauce into the chili, so we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. So here's how our chili looks. There's not as much sauce as we thought there would be. We even added how much water to it? A whole can? Yeah. We put a whole can of the tomato sauce, then we filled that can with water and put it in here too, so it's not as juicy as it should be. Saucy. Saucy? I don't know. Saucy. It looks a little, it looks a little not dry, but like there should just be more sauce in it. So that's okay. We're still gonna put some cheese and maybe some sour cream with it. So I'll show you what it looks like plated in just a second. Here it is in a bowl. Looks a little messy, but that's okay. Um, I think it'll still be really good. I'm gonna put a little bit of sour cream in here. I think we have some crackers too, actually, if the kids want to add some in there. But there's our chili. So today I'm gonna make a really easy Mississippi pot roast. I have my chuck pot roast, which is 2.85 pounds. And then we have some pepperoncinis, one packet of ranch seasoning, and one stick of butter. So normally the recipe calls for au jus gravy, which I forgot about. Um, I have brown gravy on hand, so that's what I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna sprinkle these together on top of the meat, place the stick of butter right on top of there, and then just kind of place the pepperoncinis around. So now we're just gonna cook this on the low for eight hours. I mean high for eight hours. No, low for eight hours. What am I thinking? Oh my goodness. So I totally forgot to record me doing the potatoes because I forgot I was filming this. <laughs> um, but I have six potatoes, russet potatoes that I peeled. I cut up into little pieces. I'm boiling those right now. And then I have two cans of green beans. I will heat up with some butter. The roast is finished. It smells really good. I'm very excited about it. So once everything is all ready to go and plated up, I will show you. So here's how everything came out. I'm very excited to eat it. Um, we have gravy that I made also that I didn't show, but it's the same brown gravy I put in 
the pot roast. I just followed the directions on the package. Our potatoes we always make with butter and milk. And then we have our green beans. So I have shared this recipe before, I'm pretty sure, but I don't remember which dinner video it was in. Um, but this is golden chicken with noodles. And we do not have any carrots. So we're gonna skip that. But if you wanna take a screenshot, you can make it yourself. So we have the chicken breast. The cream of chicken, it's two 10 ounce cans. I just have one 20 ounce can instead. Mustard, lemon juice, garlic powder, and I have noodles in this cookie <laughs> container, which we use that later. So right now, we're gonna put all of this stuff in first and then the chicken, and then this you will see later on. So now we're just going to cook this on low for eight hours and when you have you know about 20 minutes left you want to go ahead and make those noodles and then you're going to add the noodles and mix it together. Alrighty so that is done. My husband's going to shred up the chicken in there and then we have the noodles cooking right now and then we will combine it all and then we will show you when it's plated. So here it is in a bowl. Um, like I said, we don't have any carrots to add to this right now, but you could also add in onion, celery, um, whatever you want, zucchini, something like that. But it tastes really good, like the sauce, the mustard mixed with the, uh, what is it called, soup, and all that stuff. Like it's, it's really, really good. So this is definitely one of our favorites. So as I'm sitting here editing this video, I realized I didn't have any type of outro or anything like that. So this is it. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed the what's for dinner video. Let me know which recipe was your favorite or which one you will try. You can always tag me over on Instagram if you decide to make it. And if you like it, let me know for sure. Uh, let me know if you guys have any other crock pot meals that you just love that I need to try. But I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Please subscribe if you are new. I would love to have you. And I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.